Welcome to our conversation about the Akashic Records, channeling the Akashic Records. As you're joining us, please do say hello so I can say hello back to you. A huge welcome to you. Let me know if this is your first time catching me live so I can say hello. And for those of you that are getting to know me, my name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, coaches, entrepreneurs to break through their upper limits in life. I teach the Helix Method, our energy psychology and manifesting modality. And I also teach how to access the Akashic Records for yourself and others. As you're jumping on, do you say hello? Let me know where you're tuning in from. I always love to see where in the world everybody is. So are you in the UK? Are you in Canada? America, Norway, where in the world are you? And if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay so I can circle back and say hello. And of course, if there's any questions, just pop them below this, this video and I will pick them up and answer them if I haven't caught them whilst I'm having a chat with you live. There's a lot of mystery around the Akashic Records, so I thought let's dive into this because some people think... Well, they don't know what, what, what it is. So let's do a bit of a bit of a quick poll. Have you heard of the Akashic Records? Have you ever had a, a reading or a consultation? What came through for you? What insights did you have? Or are you like, I have no idea what you're talking about? What are the Akashic Records? <laughs> So if you're wondering what the Akashic Records are, just to get everybody on the same page, they are a soul level of dimension of consciousness. And all of us have a soul and our soul has a blueprint. So we have an energetic roadmap or think of this as a book of information for our existence on this planet. And the information that we can download tells us things like what we're here to do, what we're here to learn, what we can master, who we're here to meet. And I can access this information for people so that they can be plugged into that information if they're not able to to tap into it themselves yet and the key thing to bear in mind with working with the Akashic Records is the future is unwritten at any point we can change our future through the decisions that we make and move into parallel timelines so this isn't a psychic reading or mediumship think of this as a spiritual reading and there are energies that of course that can indicate what the future can likely look like but in any time we make that a different decision or a choice those decisions and choices and actions then change what is ahead of us so think of this as possibilities and probabilities does that make sense and the akashic records there are the energetic records of your soul that hold all the information about who you truly are and it records every word, thought, action, emotion, and, and your belief systems from a soul level. So by accessing your Akashic Records, you receive information that shows you and helps you to understand what your blocks and limitations in life, gives you insights, possible choices, so that you can co-create a better outcome. It has, my clients tell me that it gives them such powerful insights in this lifetime and it gives them from a soul level perspective this is what I love as well and just to help bring this to life I was guiding our clients through a life between life review yesterday in our infinite prosperity spiritual business mastermind and this was so that they could distill the impact that they've made in this lifetime and to call forward any experiences in this now moment for their soul's learning and growth for experiencing more joy rather than collapsing this at the end of this lifetime and rather than completing this at the end of this lifetime so we're collapsing timelines in relation to being able to bring forward the information that we need to know in this now moment and then ultimately that is okay so what is the information that we need to bring forward so we can fulfill our soul's purposes and to make a bigger impact in this now moment and it was absolutely illuminating for people being shown the frequency their true essence of the impact that they've made so far in this lifetime and more to more to come it was a complete honor to facilitate that and it was through the records that I was shown the the helix method and one of the things that um, often people come and ask me around is you know what's my soul's purpose and 
we have many purposes for our soul and so the question I like to ask is what's the next evolution of my purpose and the next evolution of my business's purpose and when I was in the Akashic Records this is what I was shown it was revealed first I was shown a big circle within the center of two horns and I was asking for more clarity, more information, and the words magic and manifestation came through. And then the record keepers revealed that my next evolution of purpose was to teach others how to help others co-create prosperity across all aspects of their lives. So focusing on the areas of self-love and confidence and relationships, health, vitality, wealth, so ultimately souls can thrive across all areas of life. So this is this is prosperity. And I, I asked for more information on the headdress and was shown that this lineage was from the mystical schools of the goddess Isis. And they showed me that the cow horns are symbolic of both abundance and the, and the cosmos. And the solar, solar disc symbolizes the power within all of us to create. And with that, with the helix method, souls will be activated and remember their power to create abundance and prosperity for themselves, their family and their clients. And I just absolutely love it. The insights, the, the speed of the manifesting that starts to happen as our clients who have trained to be Helix Method mentors use the techniques and really clear up their energy field and start to activate their magnetism so they're able to manifest faster and they're able to show their clients how to do this too. It is just so exciting to see. So you may have seen me talking about posts around the Helix Method because we are welcoming in new students into the Helix Method certification program, which uh, next group is starting on the 1st of March. So now is the time to reach out about that. And for those of you thinking, what is the Helix Method? Helix Method is a blend of energy psychology, magic and manifesting. And everything that I teach in the Helix Method, the, the wisdom and the techniques that can be used in the, Akash in the Akashic Records reading as well. So the advanced energetics that I regularly use in the Akashics, the holograms, the timelines, the healing with different colors and all the advanced energetic structures that I teach within the, within the Helix Method. For those that want to go and work at with higher realms of consciousness can bring all this learning and these techniques into the readings of the Akashic Records as well. So that's our sort of pathway, if you if you like, in relation to how I work with those two modalities. And I wanted to, uh, to talk a little bit more about channeling the Akashic Records and to help clear up some myths and to reveal some some truths so let's think of these as three secrets and the first one is and this is often where people will think of when they think of the Akashic Records because of the analogy used of um, the book of life people will think it's like a library book in the in the sky but I invite you to recognize that the Akashic Records are a dimension of consciousness that contains the vibrational record of every soul and its journey. So think of this as a dynamic flow of energy. So just think of this as understanding it from an energetic point of view. And when we open the Akashic Records, we're transitioning from a normal consciousness to a state of divine universal consciousness. And it is this state that is, allows us to receive these impressions and the vibrations and these downloads from the record. So just sim it's just simply think of it like changing channels on your TV. Your human Wi-Fi is just tuning into a different frequency and vibration. Does that make does that make sense? And this is this is just just such a game changer because every time that we access the records, our awareness is affected by this quality of life, and we become enlightened by it. And this frequency is set, affects our sense of peace and our our well being. The frequency itself is healing and heals at the speed of light and at the rate of which you course, which you allow in and are ready to heal. And my manifesting has gone through the through the roof um, since I've been doing this work and working in the records. And the energy of the records moves on on the spoken word, which facilitates the movement of energy. So as Akashic Record Consultants, we channel by allowing the energy of the records to move through our bodies, channeling energy and information directly from the Akasha, not from entities or personalities from other dimensions. So 
this is really keen. I'll, I'll, I'll circle back to this that that piece in a in a second. The bit to just wrap up with here is whilst the Akashic records are often referred to as the book of life, and this term is really created just so we our brains have got a concept that we can wrap our heads around and we all understand books and libraries for our 3d reality it gives us a, a visual image to go to so the book of life is a metaphor to explain what is un, unexplainable so just use the concept of the library to help your conscious mind and allow yourself to understand the akashic records as a an energetic flow a consciousness a dynamic energy so that is the first thing is to to have that understanding that that the secret that is revealed here is that the Akashic records are a dimension of consciousness that contain the vibrational record of every soul and and its infinite infinite journey and then the second secret is this, there's this assumption that the record keepers have personalities and that you can get to know them by their identity and actually, the record keepers are the record keepers. They are prefer to remain anonymous. And one of the most common questions I get asked around working with like beings and guides is how do I know their names? Who are they? And the thing to, to, to remember is you, you have different frequencies of light beings. And when we're working in the records, we're working with the purest, highest light frequency. So the lords of the records, think of them as just groups of light beings who are working at a universal level rather than individual souls. And light beings are non-physical beings that are involved at every level of awareness and they generate a higher quality of light that offers potential for understanding the higher truths about yourself. So the, 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 the lords of the records are responsible for maintaining the integrity of the Akashic records and they decide what information is revealed. But during a particular reading, they give that information to the masters, teachers and loved ones of the souls who are the soul who are seeking the guidance. And sometimes they withhold the information, which is why we might not get an answer to a question that we ask. Or some other healing needs to happen before that piece of information is revealed. So the masters are light beings, like the laws of the records. They've never been in physical bodies and they will work with your individual soul. And your masters have been with you since your soul's inception and the responsible for your soul's ongoing growth and development and they will work with your teachers and loved ones to support you in your mastery and then we have the teachers and they may or may not have been in physical bodies and they may not be with you throughout your whole soul's existence so they you think of them as lesson specific so they'll stay with you for as long as it takes to learn a lesson and to integrate the consciousness of that teacher and once you have then the teacher leaves to work with other souls these teachers can be ordinary folk in the sense of it not being a personality that you know or bigger consciousnesses like the consciousnesses of Jesus, Buddha, Mother Teresa. And I love it when I've had uh, clients when they've been working in the Akashic Records in our immersions where we teach people how to access going, oh my word, this consciousness came in. Is, is that normal? <laughs> Who else has had this? And uh, they start working with the bigger consciousnesses. So your it's very very exciting and absolutely transformational the your akashic record teachers the other bit to say about that they prefer to remain unidentified so that we're not fostering a dependence on them or their earthy identities because this is the thing is it's our ego mind who wants to know a name who wants to develop a reliance on the divine essence and the energy of the records rather than on a particular identity so when you're working in the records you will channel information differently depending on who you're working with and who their guides masters teachers and loved ones are so if I'm working with someone who is very uh clairvoyant then there may be the reading will include more images the record keepers will be speaking to me with more images whereas if they are typically um there they will see things with symbols or their guides will show things to them in symbols I'll be shown more symbols and that's how the information will come through, if that makes sense. So that's why I love doing readings with different people, because it's so different for, for, for each reading. It is complete. It's a complete honour to be reading people's uh, Akashic records. Then, there, then we have the, the loved ones. 
Um, so these are people that you may have known in this life and have passed over, and they may not have known you well in this life. Again, they prefer not to be identified, but they will reveal themselves if it helps you. And often people will say to me, who are your guides? I don't d dwell on this. I'm, I will spend more time with just going in and receiving the information and the guidance. Every now and then uh, consciousness will reveal themselves to me um, if that is helpful. And so I think with all the information that's out there and people were talking of angels and saints and all the things, we identify angels and saints. We know those by names and associated with particular things. And then the Akashic masters, just to think of them as not having individual identities. Does that make sense? So that's a key thing to, to recognize is that the, the, so the second secret is that we're working with all these light beings these energies are who we're working with in the Akashic records and the record keepers preferring to remain anonymous. And we're just work as we're working in the records. It's the power and the energy of the records that's moving through us. We won't necessarily have an identity revealed to us. Does that make sense? Which leads me on to number three. I've had so many people say that. There's this illusion out there that only advanced energy healers and spiritual gurus can read the Akasha records. And actually, I invite you to take a new belief for a spin because truly anyone can read the Akasha records. And not everybody's going to want to. And that is absolutely fine. And historically, we have a whole load of societal religious programming around being spiritual and being a male to access the records. So we've all got that programming in our energy fields. And the truth is anyone can access them. The only barrier between where you are now and reading them is trusting yourself and allowing yourself to develop the skill and the relationships of working in the records. And of course, it may come more easily to some people than others. And it's about them being into, in that allowance of allowing yourself to develop that skill and being curious about going on the journey of seeing what unfolds. And I think it's really important to share that a quality of working in the Akashic Records is, is integrity. Accessing the Akashic Records requires integrity, intention, curiosity staying in the present moment and your spiritual connection requires that clarity of thought and an openness beyond personal expectations and limiting beliefs because of course it's the limiting beliefs you know getting kicked up about when you start learning to read the records they are going to get kicked up so that's where it's key about being in the energy of curiosity curiosity and open to learning that opens up your connection and then you're allowing yourself to really develop your a relationship with yourself, trusting yourself and a willingness just to leave that ego mind at the door. Because this is this is soul to soul work. It is the the, the highest honor to, to offer people an Akashic record reading. What I would say is if you haven't start have a business or haven't started a business yet, and you may want to add a Akashic record consultation reading as you know practice to your services that you offer your clients but perhaps this could be you if you work with any of the energy modalities like the helix method EFT Reiki pranic healing EAM emotion code just trying to think of them all belief coding like K RTT then I invite you to consider adding the Akashic records consultations to your to your business as well because if you're already doing energy coaching with your clients they're going to absolutely love the Akashic records and it's a another offering another level that you can offer offer your clients you they can continue working with you and I you know believe it is our birthright to have access to this divine wisdom and healing and so very excited to be talking about channeling the Akashic records so I'd love to know who here has had a reading do you read the Akashic Records for other people already? Is it something you've been thinking about? I suspect it is if you're listening to me. The title will have drawn you in. You'll be like, oh, channeling the Akashic Records, what is this? Or perhaps you're listening because you already do. So let me know what drew you here? Why are you listening? What is your intention with, with listening to learning about channeling the Akashic Records? And 
the immersions that we have coming up just to speak to this for a moment. So we train you on the Soul Journeys method. This is a system downloaded from the Akashic Records by my coach, Jennifer Longmore. It's the methodology that I use in my consultations with clients and in my coaching programs. And so just to take a couple of seconds just to speak to this for a moment so people know what options are available um, to them. So we have three immersions coming up with the Akashic Records um, certification program. So we have level one, level two, level three. And during our powerful immersions, you'll gain the ability to access your Akashic Records, the unique blueprint of your soul. So you're able to really understand and how you can work in the Akashic Records and what it means to be transmuting energy across dimensions, planes, spaces, times and levels of consciousness. You'll be able to use the records to stay embodied in your own highest level frequency instead of getting, you know, scattered with all of the noise that's going on in the world right now. You'll be able to receive and interpret guidance and healing around so many things, including your soul purpose, how to accelerate your soul's journey. You'll be able to turn yourself into an attraction magnet. You'll be able to transform limiting patterns and blockages and to download and access truth and wisdom beyond your intuition. This is where you are dramatically cutting down time that you're spending on downloading information. You'll be able to read, you know, really read them very effectively and be able to do this for your clients as well. So you can choose to join us for our level one immersion only. So this is where we teach you to access your own Akashic records. So if you just want to learn to read the records for yourself, then I'd recommend come in and do level one. If you already know you want to read records for the others, then I would invite you to join for all three levels. Um, everybody who has done level two has gone on to do level three um, because it's just incredible. And um, you will want to you will want to do that. Um, so if you would like more information, just to give you a heads up on that, then just send me a message um, because we are inviting people to register now for our immersions coming up. They start in March. So just drop me a, a DM or we can pop a, a comment below this video. And if you're interested in them, we'll get the details over to you so you can have a read through our inv invitation letter. And then if it feels aligned and just uh, let, let me know, let me know that you're in and we'll get you all set up and take it from there. And the other thing I would say is what I like to create is there's plenty of support within the immersions as well. So you're also partnered up with colleagues to practice in between our immersions so that you've got that ongoing support, you're developing the skills and I support you. I offer bonuses of supporting you during 30 days after each of the immersions so that you can ask me any questions um, during that time as well. Because of course, sometimes the questions pop up in between sessions, don't they? So just wanted to share that. So let me know if you're interested in that. And then the other thing I wanted to offer, I'm really excited about this. I have got uh, a couple of slots available for our 30 day Voxer coaching in the Akashic Records. So this is where you receive guidance from the Akashic Records for a whole 30 days via Voxer. My clients who have received this have absolutely loved it. So I am continuing to offer this. I've only got capacity to offer this to five people at a time. So Hence why I'm just saying I've got a couple of slots available available now. So just, yeah, just pop me a DM if you're like, oh, that sounds like that's for me. Just saying I'm interested in the Akashic Records 30 day Voxer coaching and um, I will, I'll get all the information over to you. So excited to continue this conversation with you. And so that's why I just wanted to pop in here to talk about channeling Akashic Records, because it has been the biggest game changer for, for me and being able to offer the next evolution of our, our business and my soul for my soul purpose and our business with the with the helix method so the just to wrap up the three secrets of the akashic records that we've touched on today are that the akashic records are a dimension of consciousness that contain the vibrational record of every soul and its journeys so to think of it as a dynamic flow of energy best understood from an energetic point of view. The second is that record keepers prefer to remain anonymous, so you'll recognize them by frequency, not names necessarily, frequency. And the third is that anyone can read the Akashic Records. You just need to have the guidance to, to know how, and I would really recommend um, reaching out if you're feeling called and uh, listening to me um, share, sharing this information if you haven't joined us for one of our Akashic Record immersions to to reach out and I can share all the all the incredible information with you. 
So sending you all loads and loads of love. Let me know if you've got any questions, just pop them below and I will circle back and answer them. Otherwise, I will see you all very soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.